citizens from Israel, Palestine, and from around the world, we are anonymous. For years, Israel has been waging murder against Palestine and its fighters. We, as concerned citizens, must remember that this horrific genocide started with a lie. The three Israeli teens were not killed by Palestinians, but by Israelis. By many reports, the murder did not even take place in Gaza, or in the West Bank, but in Israeli territories. Upon such lie, the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, swore to his citizens that he would bring about vengeance that Satan himself has not yet created. Over 2,000 people, the majority being children, disabled, elders, and women, have died ruthlessly over deceit, all while the U.S. government stands idly by and turns a blind eye on an event they claim to be called self-defense. In Gaza today, we find ways of justifying the bombing of hospitals, the annihilation of families at dinner, the killing of children playing soccer on a beach, and blasting ambulance vehicles and health workers in the West Bank. Countless Palestinians have claimed over the years to describe the living conditions of Gaza by Israel's brutal siege and illegal occupation as hell on earth. As we've mentioned before, many points, such as the so-called terror tunnels, are false claims for mass slaughter, as well as the human shield claims. Tunnels are being used by many Palestinians to evade Israeli fire and to safely get food from outside the Levant. Media outlets have tarnished such information by using Israeli propaganda, which concerns Hamas, as a cause to attack and demolish these tunnels. This doesn't escape the fact that Anonymous and other humanitarian groups noticed, since the very start of their inception, that the IDF are a racist force, overshadowed by propaganda. They call themselves the most moral army in the world. Yet there are lies and petty fabrication to justify attacks underground and above ground should not go unpunished or unnoticed. They are talked from the ground up during their mental military exercises to kill Palestinians. For example, the general of the Israeli Defense Forces has claimed that no one in Gaza is a civilian, that everyone is a target that needs to be wiped out adding that all Palestinians of this generation are raised by hatred and violence. Is it any wonder why so many Palestinians have joined with Hamas? Entire families vanished from this earth. Schools, mosques, historical landmarks that have lived for decades long before Israel was created, hospitals and infrastructures, destroyed and demolished. The residents of Palestine have so little left that their only option is to fight for their land and their families that have fallen upon Israel's cowardice. Israel's government, for decades, have tortured Palestinians long before Hamas was created, before the PLF, the Fatah, and the resistance. Israel could fully decide to intercept Hamas as weak pre-owned missiles for decades. Their elite military are no match for a resistance of weak weaponry, unlike Israel. Palestinians lack helicopters, drones, jet fighters, artillery, ships, and advanced rifles. Hamas gives 20 to 30 minute warnings before attacking a civilian location. Adding to that, Hamas only targets military soldiers. The civilians that have been killed were either near militarized locations, or never received their warning, to go in their bomb shelters. Instead, they took their time to sit in their front porches, with their families, to see Gaza burn. Out of impotent defiance, Hamas fires inept rockets, causing slight shock for Israelis but rarely, very so rarely, physical harm. With such a gross imbalance of power, there is no equivalence. This is not war. This is not defense. The horrific events in Kuza and Shijaya proves such theories. By the end of Operation Protective Edge, Israel will be forced to rebuild Gaza's infrastructures. But if these weeks taught us anything, it's that Israel will only rebuild for their own needs and benefits. 
Hamas has reportedly accepted the risk of ICC prosecution of its own war crimes, for a chance to prosecute Israel's crimes. The Israeli government heard of such move, and has asked the United States to bail them out. Many activists are working tirelessly to set the record straight and to bring all Israeli governmental officials, including Hamas affiliates, to the ICC and mark them as war criminals. But, in the end, Israel never chose to coexist with Palestine due to radical beliefs that hone with Zionism, and not, the religion of Judaism. This bloodbath of a massacre that Israel created also proves that they are not a democracy in the Middle East. Tens, upon hundreds of Jews were prosecuted upon alerting the world of the truth, that Israel does not represent them, that the apartheid should end, the blockade should be lifted, and to let freedom, and equality, ring. Many Jewish activists that shouted truth are being held longer than those who are committing revenge attacks on Palestinians. Many UK governmental officials have spoken and have openly condemned Israel's vicious attacks. The UK government took no action and one of many resigned knowing that their government, along with the US and its allies, are hell-bent to support Israel to the very end. If the world does not rise in unison, and hinder the evil colonial imperialistic empire Israel's government is, Palestinians will be exiled, and their land, banished, like Mike Brown and countless victims that have fallen for the draconian system, we should embrace human life and punish those who believe they can kill with impunity. We never forget, and we will certainly never forget such actions of pure foolishness and ignorance. Over the past weeks we have been attacking Israel's cyber infrastructure, and we have taken down, leaked, and defaced key Israeli websites under the banner and hashtag OpSaveGaza. We have also gathered cables that were provided by WikiLeaks, for which you can find the link to in the description of this video. The world stands with Palestine. Jews, Christians, Muslims, and all walks of life have assembled themselves into a wall of unity to combat Zionism. Many Israelis turned down the offer to join the IDF, nor support the Israeli massacre within Gaza. Many who resisted, were sent to jail or beaten. This is not a democracy. This is fascism. Israel, and its powerful party, has succeeded in painting itself as the victim, while the ones being killed and maimed become the perpetrators. They don't care about life, says Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to the press regarding Palestinians. But, Netanyahu has claimed, with verbal force, that Israel, cares about life more than any other country in the world. Netanyahu, the IDF, Shimon, you, who with surgical precision slaughtered innocents, the young and the old, you, who have cruelly blockaded Gaza for years, starving it of necessities, you, who have turned down many offers that Hamas has given to end the blockade, you, who deprive Palestinians of more, and more, of their land their water, their crops, their trees, their aid, and supplies, to live a stable life, you, Netanyahu, IDF, Shimon, and all Israeli governmental officials, do not care about life, nor do you care about the life of your own citizens, these are not the swords of Islam, Christianity, or Judaism, these are the swords of justice, of true defense, of freedom, and equality. These symbols do not belong to no group, organization, or faction. These symbols represent the willingness to speak your word, whilst you are anonymous. This is our final message to both states. Yet we will continue to oversee Palestine, and the countless Israelis who are aware that Israel's massacre, is not defense, or war. We will continue to expose Israel's lives towards mankind. As always, we ask those in Palestine to remember, that, no matter how dark it may seem, or how alone you may feel, know that thousands of us here at Anonymous stand by you, and we will always stand by you, until both states, are liberated from Zionism, and death.
Our greetings and solidarity go out to the countless doctors and activists that have positioned themselves in the line of danger. To those who took the time to spread the message of truth. We are anonymous. We are legion. We will never forgive. We will never forget. United is one. Divided by zero. Expect us.